Добър вечер, уважаеми дами и господа! Привет всем русскоговорящим друзьям! Меня зовут Райан Хаяши. А меня зовут Анна. Приветствую вас. Хорошо. Я фокусник и я вам что-то покажу. А я буду ему ассистировать, великому волшебнику. Анучка, ты хочешь говорить по-русски или по-английски? По-английски. Хорошо. All right. We'll do the rest in English. Welcome back to the University of Mannheim in Germany. I'm at work hanging with some of my students. This will be episode five of the brand new series, which we're changing the name of right now. It originally started as the Mind Manipulation Series. And then I wanted something that just sounded a little bit better because... It became a series, then I changed it to fun psychology tricks. And then I realized these are not psychology tricks, these are magic tricks. So I wanted something cool. We did a team vote with it with my class and we decided on the psychological damage series. So I'm going to change the title of all of them. This is now episode five of the psychological damage series. Now, a couple of guys have asked in the comments from the last four episodes, Uh, the stuff I'm doing, does it always work? Well, generally, yes. Uh, we just film it all in one shot. If it works, that's what it looks like. And some guys have been asking, um, what part is a magic trick and what is, is psychology? If you have to ask, I'm doing something right. So here is the following trick. Um, one classic idea in magic to demonstrate the ability to manipulate cards is... A blind location of, let's say, for example, the four aces. So that would be ace number one. If I do a double undercut like this, that would be ace number two. This would be, I'll do a table cut, ace number three. And then the last one, let's try to, oh, people are coming closer, which is absolutely fine. Watch this one. Here's a cool cut. From the center, that would be ace number, did I get it? Yeah. Four. Now, that's that's not bad. What would be cooler is if I could have somebody choose four other cards, not the aces. So if I did the aces, I'm going to let Anna choose four other cards. Which cards would you like? Mm, maybe you, four kings. The four kings. Okay. This is a free choice. Yes? Yes. She really could choose any. She chose the four kings. Anna, would you please mix the cards like this? Try to keep them on the table, off the floor, which would be good. Okay. <laughs> it looks good. All right. Now, this is the fun part. From a shuffled deck, this is going to scare the magicians who see this and send them to bed crying tonight, which is why I do this. It's all about the psychological damage. Watch this. If I could cut the cards to one, two, three, four different positions blindly after she chose the kings and mix the cards so we have one two three four different positions in the deck if i manage to cut blindly to oh it looks good to one two three and four kings that would be Whoa. next level but we're going to take it a step further than that instead of just four of a kind instead of just four kings I want to do four freely chosen cards. So, Anna, would you please push forward any card you like so we can see what it is. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. She likes this one. I'm going to write the name down so we remember what she chose in just a moment. That this is the Queen of Diamonds in big purple marker. Can the camera see that? The Queen of Diamonds. Diamonds, just so we can remember later that she chose this card. Uh, choose three other cards. There we go. She likes this one. Mm -hmm. This one, okay. And another one. This one, yeah, okay. It's three. And one more. Awesome. So we have four freely chosen cards. We have the six of diamonds. Make sense? We have the three of, can I draw this? Let's try. Does it look good? 
Chanashu. She says it's good. Od lejno. We have the three of clubs and the ten of spades. Now again, the only reason I'm writing this down is just so that in a minute we remember what these four freely chosen cards were. They can be any cards. I could get four different people to pull the cards out. It doesn't matter. Now, the fun part is to lose those cards in four different positions in the deck. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shove them in, and here's the fun part. I'm going to let her shuffle the cards in just a minute so you can see that these cards are completely lost and there's no way that I could visually track these cards. And guys are actually coming close to the table now <laughs> because they all, they're all they watching. But the, don't, don't swivel the camera, but take my word for it. These guys are watching my hands very, very closely because they just want to actually see where am I putting those cards. We're going to mix them. I'll mix one more time just to make it look legit. I will let her mix one more time. Could you mix the cards, please? Yes. Awesome. Okay. This is good. Okay. <laughs> now, you could show his face. Look, he's laughing and I don't know why. Why are you laughing, bro? I haven't even done the trick yet. I'm about to start. Okay. Yeah, no. All right. Now, I seriously hope this works no, because... No pressure. Yeah, no pressure. I, I'm just doing this blind and... You, you, you have never seen a magician live before no, uh, I, I did something time. like this. First time. Do me a favor. I'll get, get these in front of you. Mm -hmm. Would you please uh, cut the cards in half so we have two grooves? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, do the same here. Mm -hmm. Bring some cards over. I'll keep my hands in so they can see I'm not hiding more cards. It's okay. Just don't, and make it big enough so we have cards. <laughs> okay, awesome. So. Awesome. Did the camera see that? She did all of the, 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 the cutting. My hands are off the table. Do you have super Jedi psychic powers? <laughs> we will find out, that's the test, because she did everything herself. My hands were off, off the cards, and she did everything absolutely by herself. But if we look at the four cards she cut to, no <laughs> way. <laughs> That would be the, can the camera see that? That would be the six of diamonds, the three of clubs, the ten of spades, and the queen of diamonds. That is the perfect blind cut. She did everything, her hands on the cards, after she makes the cards, and she chose the four cards anyway. So, any questions? <laughs> Look at the psychological damage. There. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> I like the new name of the series. Ladies and gentlemen, this was episode five of the psychological damage series.